Did you know that there are now AI tools for generating 3D models and even 3D animation from simple text prompts? Uh. But did you also know that you can combine these tools to create fully AI-driven 3D animation? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how by trying to create a new Pixar movie in only 5 days. To speed up my brainstorming process, I asked ChatGPT for some ideas for a parody trailer about a Pixar movie and, well, I got mixed results. Finding Nero, a parody of Finding Nemo, where the two main characters aren't fish, but thoughts in the mind of a genius. <laughs> the bad dinosaur. In an alternate timeline, dinosaurs have evolved not into birds, but into sophisticated neurotic beings. Ratatouille. A rodent chef in Paris has to break a curse that makes every dish he cooks come to life, turning the kitchen into a deliciously dangerous chaos with sentient food. Now that's a really cool idea, let's do that. Ratatouille is still one of my favorite Pixar movies, it's been way too long, so let's make a new one with AI. Hard work and a little luck, it's only a matter of time before I'm discovered. I then asked ChatGPT to write a script for a trailer based on this idea. It took a few iterations to get it right, but after about three revisions I had something that I was extremely happy with. Gusto always said that anyone can cook. But only the fearless can be great. Luma AI, the company behind the app that lets you capture photorealistic 3D scenes with your phone, recently released its new AI tool for creating 3D models from text prompts and you can use it on their Discord. Just go to one of the Genie channels and type slash Genie and enter your prompt. So for our main character Remy, I'm going to use Remy from Ratatouille, Humanoid Red, T-Pose. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds and we get these four options. Well, this one looks creepy, but this one looks really cool. Although it's still a bit different from the original movie version, but let's use it. Just like in Mid Journey, we can now choose to refine these previews by clicking the corresponding refine button. And this will now take up to 20 minutes or so, but in the meantime, we can work on the other characters. <laughs> oh no, Linguini, what happened to you? You were always so skinny. But honestly, it's no wonder when you get to eat Remy's delicious food every day. And what is that? Anyway, let's click on refine for this guy and check back in with Remy. Once the refinement process is complete, you will receive this preview link to check out your creation in your browser. And I'm honestly very impressed with the quality and the detail. Sure, it doesn't compare to traditionally modeled characters, but keep in mind that this is the first version of the AI. A research preview. But let's stop marveling, download the character and bring it into the free 3D software Blender to prepare it for AI animation. But before we dive into that, if you are new to the world of 3D animation, AI or filmmaking in general and want to start exploring these topics but don't know where to start, today's sponsor is the place for you. Skillshare is the largest online learning community where you can explore thousands of classes about a wide range of topics including graphic design, photography, film and animation and many more. I highly recommend the class by Southern Shorty 3D, an animator and motion designer that I've been a fan of for many years now. His Animating in Blender, your first character rig, showed me really cool tricks on how to simply breathe life into my own characters. But if you're just getting started, his Your First Day in Blender class is perfect for you. He will walk you through the interface and navigation, get you started on basic techniques like modeling and lighting, and in the end you'll be able to model your first objects and render out a scene. All things that can come in pretty handy for the next steps of this video. So whether you want to learn the basics of watercolor painting or learn how to start your own creative business, Skillshare has classes by industry professionals to take you from beginner to professional alongside a supportive learning community. And the best thing is, if you're one of the first 500 people to join Skillshare through my link below, you get one month of free access to all the classes Skillshare has to offer. So make sure to join today and let's get back to the video. Okay, I did it! Look at this, my character's dancing! And the motion is completely generated by AI. For this I used a new tool called Motion. It allows you to create 3D motion capture-like animations from simple text prompts. And like Genie, it also works via Discord. And now you can enter a prompt for your animation, select one of their characters, and decide if the character should stay in place or be able to move around during the animation. And generating the animation only takes a few seconds and when it's done you'll get these two previews. And then you can download the video preview as an MOV file or the animation itself as an FBX file. One fun thing you can do with the video is to use an AI style transfer to create a fully animated version of that clip. 
And for example, here I just uploaded the video to Runways Gen 1 and added a prompt for a Christmas card. But I want to use this animation with the 3D characters that we generated with Genie. So I quickly rigged up my character in Blender. To do this, I simply imported the animation as an FBX file and deleted all the center geometry. I imported my 3D character model and scaled it to fit the rig as best as I could. And that's why I chose the center rig for the animation, because it has kind of similar proportions to Remy here. I finally parented Remy's geometry to the skeleton with automatic weight and I was done. This whole process took like two minutes. And now I can activate the animation again and look at this. And the cool thing is that if I now want to switch out the animation, I can just import a new FBX file with a new animation into the scene, go to the action editor and select the other animation. And remember that for this process there's always room for customization. For example, I also needed a character made out of fries and I was not able to create a good model for that with Genie. Instead I generated all the parts separately, moved them around to fit the rig generated by Motion and then just parented everything to the rig using automatic weights. And that's how I was able to Frankenstein together this nightmare creature. <laughs> So that's my animation workflow for the bodies, but I also want to create AI facial animation and lip sync. And for that I'm going to use NVIDIA's Audio to Face. It's an AI tool for creating expressive facial animations based on an audio file. And I already used it more than a year ago on my very first video. Since then the tool has come a long way and it's even possible now to automatically generate expressive emotions based on the audio source. And the way it works is that you bring in your character and create a new default character that is already perfectly set up. And then you can select the corresponding points on your own character's mesh and audio to face can then transfer the animation from the default character to your character in real time. Otters of the lock impressed all. It's Gusto's lost chapter. So now that I had my facial animation set up, I went over to 11 Labs to generate all the voices for my characters. I imported them into Audio to Face, clicked on Generate Emotion Keyframes, it's Gusto's lost chapter, and exported the final mesh as a USD file. Back in Blender, I parented it to the skeleton just as I did before. This setup allows me to quickly change out the body animation by importing a new FBX file from Motion and switch out the facial animation by switching out the USD file generated by audio to face If you want to try out this whole process for yourself, you should check out my Patreon. I'll be uploading a step-by-step -step tutorial for the entire workflow of this video there, explaining each step in detail so you can follow along. And after all this technical stuff, let's finally get to my favorite part of this video. Creating the environments and putting everything together. For the environments, I went back to Luma Labs Genie and spent a whole day just generating the objects from the list that ChatGPT gave me. And it was really fun to see all the amazing creations by the community while I was just sitting there creating kitchen cabinets. But once I had all my refined 3D objects, I brought them into Blender and started the set dressing process. And this was so much fun and so fast. For example, I created this whole kitchen environment in just two hours and this establishing shot in Paris in just one hour. And here are some of the other environments and assets that I created for this short film. With all that done, I only had three days to create the final movie, but with all the technical stuff out of the way and the workflow figured out, it was a pretty straightforward process. For each new shot, I simply appended the environment that I needed into a new Blender scene, imported my character rigs and placed them in the scene. I added the generated body and facial animations for the shot, animated the camera and added some lights. Oh, help! Help me, Remy! I've worked on a lot of traditional animated short films in the past and it really felt like I was speedrunning that whole process. And don't get me wrong, I love this whole process and of course it doesn't come close to the quality of handmade animation and the artistry of Pixar animators who spend weeks working on a single shot. 
But I think with the help of these AI tools, the inhibition threshold for many people to try these tools themselves will drop so that more and more people can tell their stories with CG movies. I highly recommend that you give it a try, because I think no matter how good these AI tools get, it is still very important to have an understanding of classic filmmaking techniques. And with these AI tools, you'll be able to practice your lighting, staging and editing skills faster than ever before. I hope you learned something today and I wish you lots of fun with the following culinary chaos. What is this? It's Gusto's lost chapter. Gusto always said that anyone can cook. But only the fearless can be great. Oh, help! Help me, Remy! Did it work? What is this cacophony? A kitchen is a symphony, not a circus. Mr. Ego, it's not what it looks like. We were just experimenting. Is that Teramizu? Huh? Finally, a dish with a bite.